Hello everybody, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, where we are playing as the Huron. In the last episode, we conquered the Ottawa and the Padua Tomi, and in today's episode, we plan on attacking the Michigan, and if we have time, the Illinois. They do not border us, but if we attack the Michigan, see, we border the same lake, so we will be able to core them. There will be sort of a, uh, we will need to wait for these guys to core, or at least keep part of our arm. Let's let's look at our manpower. So we can only have an army force limit of provincial unrest. We can always just uh manage our provincial unrest or our uh, uprising status or what's it called? Revolt risk. Yeah, revolt risk from here as we uh keep our armies uh, stationed in Michigan while we decide to core them. We will probably only go after Michigan in this episode. We may not go after the Illinek. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get right into the game. Uh, I think we do need to pick some more rivals, though, so let's go to our diplomatic. No, we can't. It would be nice to be able to pick the Cherokee as a rival or something, but they're probably too far away to do so. Um, these guys don't border each other. That's kind of weird. Uh, okay, yeah. Anyway, then, but wherever the Michigan moves is where I border, so if they move to, like, I think they can actually move, but if they decide to move anywhere, I can always just take them, and if they move anywhere, it'll probably be easy for me anyway. But let's get into the game. Let's wait a little bit. I'm going to start a uh, spy network in... Yeah, I'm gonna build a spy network in Michigan, and then I will claim their capital. I might just cut my army in half, just for the sake of controlling these two provinces. I don't know. Even if a revolt does appear in Potawatomi, I can always just send my army back. But, uh, yeah. So let's build up our spy network, and... Oh, and by the way... I should have an improved audio. Okay. Gain money, gain slight bit of money, or gain a stability. I'll gain the stability. Okay, so they're claiming Niagara. I will probably be able to defeat them if I even fight them, because I got an 8 stack with a, a 2040 general. Um, I guess it's just a 2-0 general, but, yeah, I'm just saying 2-0-4-0, to be more specific. Anyway, my audio for this episode should be improved if my microphone wants to cooperate with me. See, microphone, uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's just get back in. Let's, uh, build up our spy network, and let's, uh, declare war once we got that. We'll be able to easily declare war. We might actually get the natives to uprise, or natives to attack us in these two provinces. But even if they do, we'll still probably have enough to defeat the Michigan. Natives won't be much of a problem. Anyway, let, let's see how much... So their aggressiveness is 2, their aggressiveness is 2, so they probably won't... They won't attack us, and they have 500, so that's the size of their army. So the size of their army would probably be 500, so that's a .5. Yeah, that's tiny. We'll be able to take them out. Anyway, let's uh, build up our... Yeah, like I said, let's just wait for that to reach 20, and then we'll claim Michigan as our own. If Miami were to move to... Miami were to actually move to Wyandotte or Mascoutin or something, and I were to attack them, that would be good. But the uh, Shawnee will probably attack the Miami. Miami, yeah. What I notice is that the Native Americans in North America aren't that aggressive. They don't, like, Shawnee won't attack Miami even though it's easy for them to do so. Like, really, the pretty much the only, like, wars that I've noticed over long periods of time usually occur over here, or over here, up here, or just right here. Anywhere else, and it's just like, well... I don't know. Just anywhere else, and 
it's not that it's not it's much it's not that uh common but wars probably do happen like Wichita were to move to Wichita and attack the Caddo they'd be a two province country you know if a country were to move to Wichita so two skinned they'd be able to be a three province country anyway that's I guess just what I've noticed. You guys might notice something different. Anyway, let's continue. Let's wait for our spy network. So we can't choose any more rivals. Any missions for us? We only have that improve our prestige. We have to have a prestige of 50. Maybe you'll choose that when we have a prestige of 49 or 48. When we act when it actually seems like we could get a prestige of 50. But I'm gonna go to war against the Michigan. Take their uh, capital. And then, if we have time, attack the Illinois. So, here we go. Um, we just gotta... It takes so much time to get the spy network to go up to 20. I mean, why do they even do this? Why did they even update the game for this? It's just not useful at all. It just makes the game a lot harder. A lot more difficult. It's just... Uh, it's just annoying, because you have to wait for such a long time. You have to wait for 10. You have to wait for 20 months. Anyway, next month we'll be able to get it, so good enough. Yeah, next month we'll be able to get it. And come on, come on, yes! Okay, let's go to Diplomacy. Fabricate a claim on Michigan. Which means we can only fabricate claims, I do believe, on things we can core. So... Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna uh, declare some war. They have no allies, and it doesn't matter if Shawnee comes in. Okay, so if we declare war, we can take Michigan as a conquest Cassus Belli, and we can take Michigan. Obviously, I guess you could consider our territory to be connected, although it's not that connected. I mean, well, not really. Anyway, kinda like how over, well it's kinda weird how over in the uh, east over here, the east United States, they have somewhat accurate state borders. And then over here, well, all the way up to Texas and Missouri, then when it gets over to here, not really accurate anymore. But anyway, let's just declare war. Do we declare war? I'm thinking that we do. Let's check our revolt risk. Let's harsh treatment these guys for a little bit so we don't have to worry about them for that much. Then let's declare war. What's this? A woods. And we have war goal is to take Michigan. I think we should. Confirm. Declare war. And we still win. Wait, what's their general? Their leader is a 0400. That's why I won. Okay. They will arrive in Mascouten. Wait, go to Mascouten, then go to Potawatomi. There will be a battle in Mascouten. Okay, so I destroyed their entire army. Just go back to Michigan. And let's wait out the rest of our... Uh, Siege. I want Michigan just so I can expand my territory, become more powerful when the uh, Europeans actually arrive. Obviously, it's. Wow, it's only actually been four years since. or five years since the start of the game. I mean, I thought it'd be a lot more, but you can actually get a lot done early on in the game. If I can get one colonist, I'd probably put the colonist in Menominee. So I could then expand over here. Although, I can take Fox Illinek and the Iroquois as I start out right now. As I pretty much am able to uh, connect to every. So that's, if you want to start as the Huron in EU4 or become a big nation in EU4, uh, play as the Huron 
and then just attack these two guys, attack the fox, oh neck, attack the Iroquois. May might take one or two wars to completely annex the Iroquois since they're so big. Four provinces. Even though you'd have three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces by that time, you'd be double their size. By the end of this episode, I hope to double my starting size in EU4. And it already fell. So let's... If... Can't, because Huron cannot make it a core. But why can't we make it a core? We touched the same lake. Which makes no sense. Why, why can't we take it? It touches Lake Huron, and we touch Lake Huron. Oh, we might have to cure Ottawa first. But this borders Lake Huron. Huh? This makes absolutely zero sense. I've seen this done before. I've seen this done before. How can we not make it a core? Oh my god, what the heck? How, what the heck? How can we not make it a core? I should have probably looked into this before we started the series, but this just makes no sense. I've seen this done before. How can we not core this? We touched the same lake. I've seen, uh, I've seen a country conquer the opposite side of the Caspian Sea. Um, this just completely just... I don't know. I have no idea how... I have no idea what is even going on here. What the heck? What the heck is even going on here? I thought I could core this. I really genuinely thought I could core this. It seems like something I could actually do since we touched the same lake. Anyway, I guess sadly we can't take it. That's completely stupid. If you guys have any ideas on why, I mean, I thought I could actually take, I could actually core it if it just was across a lake. You can you can core it if it's across a sea. You can core it if two things like if if this was an actual like ocean tile, I'd be able to core this. But how can I What the heck? Oh 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 we can make them a vassal of us. That is probably better. I'm going to send this demand, so we're going to take all their money, make them a vassal, and for aggressive expansion. Disloyal. What is their liberty desire? 45. So then on the 11th of August, I will send a diplomat to improve relations. Anyway, we'll see how that works out. We might just be able to just confirm. So I'm going to improve their relations so that their uh, disloyalty goes down. And then influence. Annex vassal. Your vassal needs to have a high opinion of you for you to be able to start annexation. That is close enough for us to core. So we have to be able to core it? What the heck? What? Okay. That is completely just stupid. Okay, now we have 443. That's a lot better. But I thought I could core that. See, that's the... See, it, it touches the same lake here on the heck? Can you guys tell me exactly what's going on? How does a lake not have the same properties as a sea? Isn't a sea larger? If I owned a uh, Mokama and I then colonized, or then I attacked a country that was in Wakama, or let's say I owned Wakama, okay? I'd be able to own something. I'd be able to own Mokama. 
I'd be able to core that. How can I not core... How can I not core this? This is a lake. How is a lake any different from a sea? Yeah, Paradox, you need to fix this because I was... How, how can I not core this? Okay, that is dumb. When we do get our colonist is when we'll start expanding farther. I am just completely confused by this. Oh great, Shawnee's expanding. Okay. So, your liberty desire is going down, that's good. And... Misquinoqua... Miami Separatists. So there are some Miami Separatists over here, which actually might... H how do you get Separatists that early on? Okay. That is completely weird. You can make states. Michigan is a territory, make it a state. Okay, I'll make it a state. And I'll core all provinces. Close enough for us to How can I not core this? How is a lake any different from a sea? Like, what the heck? Okay. That just completely confuses me. Jeez. What the heck? Okay, now that is just weird. That is just really weird. Okay. Do you guys have any idea on what's going on here? Yeah, please tell me because... Okay, our general is dead. And... A cinema there, isn't it? Okay. Oh well. Let's just work on our tech, building it up. Let's just build up our admin tech. Hope we can get a ton of admin tech. I mean, how are we? Okay, so we have to be behind on tech. We expect on 1474, we'll expect to have enough tech. We'll have enough tech on March 1474, although by then we'll probably have. So, 1474, we might have enough by then if it decides to go down. But, Okay, we'll have to just wait until we get a colonist, because that is just completely, 100% just confusing me. I thought I would actually be able to core through a lake. You can core through a sea, how can you not core through a lake? Core through the ocean? That just makes absolutely no sense. But, uh, okay game, you go ahead, uh, keep making no sense. That's always good. It's always good to make no sense. Yep, always. Always the best, making no sense whatsoever. It would be amazing for you, Michigan, interactions. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I just thought of something. We must have at least one core province that is close enough for us to core. Which means I could integrate them, but I'd never be able to actually core this one province. But don't you gain the core once you annex them? <gasps> I just thought of something. I'll give them Pottawa, Tomi, or Ottawa, or whatever. And then... And then I will annex them, and that will be one of my cores. Okay, okay. That is my new plan. That is what I will do. But it seems, yeah, most of this episode was just me testing out my new mic, and just conquering the fox, and wondering why I couldn't core them. I have now realized what I can do. I will next episode wait till the relations of me, 
go up to 190, or at least try next episode to get it to go up to 190. And then, what I will do, is once it gets up to 190, I will, uh, give them a province and annex them. That's what I will do. But, that is just insane how I cannot... How I cannot core that, but I will be able to core it, because don't... Yeah. Yeah, all of your vassals' provinces become a core no matter where they are, if you give them a province and you core them. Guys, comment down if you watch this on the first day that this uh, video came out, because there will be uh, another video the next day. If you guys comment down below, in the description below, or not the description, the comment section below, at, tell me if what I'm going to be doing is correct and that like I should do it where I should give them Padua, tell me or Ottawa and then annex them because it seems like the right thing to do but I am not a hundred percent sure I am going to look through my interactions once more before I end the episode and so we can grant them provinces and that would make them like us. And then we would be able to annex them. Subject to embargo your rivals. Okay. Anyway, what is their liberty desire? Their liberty desire is 28. They like us 24. Anyway, so be sure to, if you've watched this video all the way th through, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for future content in this series and in other series. This and be sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of this video and whether what I'm going to be doing in the next episode is worth it or not. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and uh, bye-bye.